here with our number one pick in the 2019 2K League draft. How you feeling, sir? How does it feel to have your name called first in this draft? I mean, the feeling is it's indescribable, really. You know, you sit here, you think about it all day, and it, it's here, and it's, it's indescribable, really. All right, what are your feelings going towards the Jazz team? Is there anything that you feel like you can add, anything you can feel like to build on their record from last year? Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good friends with the guys on the team already. Um, I'm going to be a big part, and we're probably going to be favorites, you know? I think we're going to be strong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our number one pick in the 2019 2K la Draft League, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, Rhea. Ian Gradient, how do you feel about hearing your name called number two in this draft? Man, just like Rhea said, it's wild. It's really surreal. You think about it all day, all these weeks, knowing you might go here, you might go there, uh, and then you finally hear it. It's wild. All right, well, you put in the time, you put in all the prep, all the hours of playing. Uh, how is it to actually have it pay off in this moment right here on the stage? Man, it means the world to have all the work and pay off hours of, and my teammates helping me and just make my mom proud. It really is just it's a crazy experience. All right, shout out going out to Gradient's mom over there. But ladies and gentlemen, please clap it up for our number two pick, Gradient. Appreciate it. Number four pick, Mr. Styles going to the Pistons GT team. Mr. Styles, how does it feel? You're in your home city. You're here on the stage. How does it feel? I feel excited, man. What can I say? Uh, second point got off the board is a huge honor. Big shout out to Adam, Chris, all the guys over in Detroit. It means a lot. I appreciate it. All right, what do you feel that you can add to your new team? <clears throat> just, a, just a leader, someone who's uh, defensive-minded too, someone who gets my teammates involved, I'm just ready to compete. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please clap it up for our number four pick with Plondo, our most recent selection in this draft. How you feeling, Plondo? You just got chosen. I'm feeling great, man. Uh, I really wanted to go to the Bucks, so can't wait to meet the guys and uh, get the season started. All right, well, like I asked the other players, you put in a lot of preparation, you put in a lot of planning, and you are here on this stage at this moment. What does it feel like to be not only in Brooklyn, but in New York getting this attention right now? Yeah, New York's great. Uh, never been here before. It's definitely nice. Um, yeah, and like I said before, I just can't wait for the season to start. We got Vandy here on the stage with us. Not only does he have skills, but patience. How you feeling right now, sir? Uh, it's surreal right now, man. Uh, I've been working hard for basically eight, nine years playing 2K, and it's just a really surreal feeling. Did you ever feel that you would take your game to this level, that you could be picked at a draft this year? Yeah, I thought, you know, last year I got into the competitive scene, and then, you know, going into this year, I just want to expand my skills, and, uh, you know, I'm just lucky to be here right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Vandy with Bully, our next pick in the draft. How you feeling today, sir? You feeling good? Great. It's the best feeling in the world right now. All right. So I'm really happy right now, yes. All right, of course you're happy, man. You're going to Celtics game. And how does it feel to actually get recognition for all those hours that you spend in front of the 2K, just going at it, and you actually have someone saying, dude, you got game? It's the best feeling. So everyone believing in you, so you're going to come in and be ready for the season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Bully one more time. All right, we are here with Reezy, Orlando's latest pick in the 2019 draft. Reezy, what do you think you can bring to Orlando Gaming? Um, I think, honestly, I think I was the best shooting guard in the pool. So I think I could bring somebody that's, you know, a knockdown shooter and um, as well as, as get my teammates involved in passing the ball. So I think I'll be a great fit in Orlando. All right, all right. You can also bring some confidence. You're like, yo, I'm the best shooter in the draft. Um, <laughs> you have your parents here. You have some family here with you today. What's it like to be on the stage and um, making your, your family proud in this moment? It means the world to me. You know, there was nights I was up late. You know, they're telling me to get off the game and, and stuff like that. So it's just I'm happy that it all paid off in the end, and I'm happy to be able to make them proud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Reezy. And we are here on the stage with Kina, the Warriors draft pick. Kina, how do you feel going to this Warriors team? Feels great, man. I think we have a really good nucleus already, and I'm looking forward to we pick the next two rounds. Should be fun. And it looks like that you were tipped off. You, you're, you're totally coordinated now. You got the tie, you got the little rose here, you got the, the pocket square. How, how did that work out? I think we all have our preferences. I was just hoping for this. It's fun that it worked out that way. So I'm yeah, looking re really, really, really looking forward to it. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right, he looked forward to it, and he's on the squad. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Kina. The beast, the 11 pick in this year's draft. How you feeling, dude? You just got picked by the Timberwolves. Uh, first off, man, before we get to the interview, I want to thank God. Uh, First most, man, for uh, being in my life. I want to thank God for everything he's done for me and put him first. Uh, thank my dad. Shout out to him and uh, the rest of my family, everybody else, my mom, everybody else. So we can go ahead and get rolling. But uh, Minnesota picked me, man. I, I'm blessed to be a part of it. Um, I, got, I sat out last year due to a lot of things. But uh, to be here, man, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. 
Yo, you forgot to thank one person, your stylist. Look at this, look at this, look at those kicks. <laughs> you're killing it, you're killing it. The beast in, indeed. All right, you put in a lot of hours. You, you, you're the 11th pick, still in the lottery section of the draft. How does it feel? You slip down a little bit, but you still have a lot to offer your team. Uh, the stylist, your uncle, your favorite uncle, man. But uh, nah, man, um, j just to be a part of it, man. Slip, no slip, it's just a blessing, man. From, from coming back from a situation I was in last year, to land up here and um, be on the stage today and be able to talk to y'all, man, it's, it's a blessing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Bear the Beast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the stage with Wavy, the latest draft pick. Well, actually, the first draft pick ever from the franchise Nets GC. How does that feel? Um, it feels great. It definitely feels great, man. Um, I had a lot of... I was very nervous now. I feel, I feel great right now. I feel like I could bring a lot to the franchise overall. I feel like I could really help put us on the map. All right, now you followed the league last year. Now this is the first expansion draft pick for the Nets. Now you feel like you can add a lot to the team, but what specifically do you feel that you can bring the Nets and put them on the map and actually make some noise in the league? Well, you know, as a PG, um, when I played for the Prophecy, I was always known as a, as a great scorer, and I feel like I can bring that to the team. Overall, I feel, I feel like I put the basket, I, I feel like I put the ball in the basket on a high level, and I feel that offense shouldn't be a problem for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the first ever pick for the Nets GC squad. The latest pick from the Hawks Talent GC. How you feeling, Dev Goss, man? You're here, you're on the stage, you just got picked, you got the big Kool-Aid smile. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, I'm so excited for this moment. It's like a surreal feeling. I just, I'm glad I'm finally here. Mm -hmm. Well, you're one of the scoring, uh, the, uh, the great scoring point guards that we have in the league. How do you feel that's going to help your squad this year? Yeah, I think with the Hawks, they have two great dominant bigs down there with Arsenal and uh, Shot. so I'm just excited to put those guys and bring my uh, fantastic score into Atlanta. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up. This Dab, the, the, the Mavs pick. Yeah. By any means, Mo. I love that name, by the way, by any means, Mo. By any means necessary. By any means necessary. Is that how you take your game? You just go out there and do what your team needs to be done? Uh, I, f I feel like I'm a proven winner, so I feel like I can bring that to the table, you know. I feel like I can be a great teammate, so I I'm here. I'm ready for Dallas, you know. You got dimes at the one. You got P at center. I feel like this team is going to be great. All right. Well, obviously, you already know a lot about the team that you're joining. What team do you feel like is going to be your biggest competition this year? I feel like no one can stop us. Ooh. <laughs> Mike drop. Ladies and gentlemen, by any means, Mo, we are here joined by I'm So Far Ahead. He was on the, the Pistons team last year. Now he's going to be joining the Raptors. How do you feel that your experience last year is going to help mold you this year and put you that much further ahead? Uh, I think it helps tremendously. I'm alongside other, uh, two other vets, uh, Trey and Kenny. They've been playing the game. Uh, they're very knowledgeable, and I think I fit right in. All right, this being your second draft, uh, what did you do differently today that last year you kind of you didn't do? Uh, I kind of took my time to get here, you know. <laughs> I, I might have been one of the last ones here, so I just had to be alone, you know, soak it all in, take the moment for what it is, and uh, I'm just blessed to be here again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so far ahead, heading up north to the Raptors. Pick, Mr. May. May, how you feeling right now in this moment? I'm feeling great. Uh, I get to go play with the PS4 point guard, Mr. Styles, who I've known since 2K16, so I'm very happy. All right, what's it like to see all these players here in one room that you've played against over the years and actually get to rub elbows with them? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, even people that you wouldn't think you'd like, you know, I meet them and then it's like we're good friends all like instantly, so it's so cool. Be like, you're much cooler than you are online, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, please clap it up for May, our latest Pistons pick. Milwaukee's latest pick in this draft. How you feeling, sir, playing with the Bucks? Um, I mean, I'm feeling great. I'm going to my hometown uh, to represent the Bucks, my favorite team. It's, it's a dream come true. For real, you've grown up watching the Bucks now. You know, you've been playing 2K for years now, and you get to affiliate the two. What's it like, for real, being on this stage, man? I see, I feel your adrenaline right now. Man, uh, yeah, I'm, it's crazy. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, going home, I'm so happy. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my man, representing for the home team. Back here on the stage right now with Heat Check Gaming's latest pick, Lottie. How you feeling, Lottie? Man, I feel, man, I feel blessed. It's like a big dream come true, man. It's my favorite team in my favorite city, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, give it up. Give it up for Lottie. Yeah, you got some fans out there. You got some fans out there, man. 
All right, you put in the hours, you put in the hard work, you're going to your favorite team, as you say. How do you think that you can help them in this upcoming season? I feel I could fit right in with any team, but Miami is the team because it's going to be a big family with them. Just hot shot, majestic. It's going to be a big family. That's what, all I'm looking for. All right, it's going to be a family affair with Lottie on the Heat. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Lottie. I'm here by the Knicks' latest pick, Original Malik. How you feeling, sir? Oh, uh, man, blessed. Uh, you know, the Knicks was, that's, New York's my dream city, so blessed. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just really blessed right now. He's just blessed. All right, so Malik, man, you get to join the champions, the reigning champions. How do you feel you can elevate a championship team? Uh, like I said, like I told the Knicks, um, this is already my family. You know, I talked to Ye, I talked to Goofy. Um, I'm really coming into, like, my brotherhood, my brothers. Um, so we know we're going to have the target on our back, and I'm ready. All right, he's ready, New York. Give it up, Original Malik.